Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, through its Suhoi Design Bureau, unveiled the advanced features of the upgraded Su-57M, a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet poised to enhance Russia's air combat capabilities. This milestone, highlighted by test pilot Sergei Bogdan during a presentation in Moscow, marks a significant leap in Russia's pursuit of a cutting-edge multirole platform designed for air superiority, ground attack, and maritime strike missions. Equipped with artificial intelligence, AI, assisted systems, enhanced stealth architecture, and long-range radar, the Su-57M aims to redefine the technological benchmarks of modern fighter jets. The aircraft's debut underscores Russia's commitment to advancing its aerospace industry despite ongoing challenges, offering a glimpse into the future of its air force. The Su-57M, an evolution of the baseline Su-57, NATO reporting name, Felon, represents the pinnacle of Russia's POC FA, Prospective Aeronautical Complex of Frontline Aviation, program, initiated in 1999 to develop a stealth-capable successor to the MiG-29 and Su-27. At the heart of the Su-57M advancements is its airframe, which has been redesigned for superior aerodynamic performance. The aircraft features a wider fuselage, measuring approximately 14.8 meters in length and 9.8 meters in wingspan, with a height of 4.6 meters. This configuration enhances lift and stability at supersonic speeds, enabling the jet to sustain Mach 1.6, around 1,200 miles per hour, without afterburners, a hallmark of true fifth-generation fighters known as supercruise. The airframe, constructed with composite materials such as polymer, fiberglass, and aluminum honeycomb fillers, weighs approximately 18,500 kg empty and has a maximum takeoff weight of 35,000 kg. These materials, combined with stealth-optimized shaping, reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section RCS, reportedly to 0.1 square meters from the frontal aspect, though its rear aspect stealth is less refined compared to Western counterparts. The Su-57M propulsion system is a standout feature, powered by two NPO Saturn AL-51F1, is Delhi 30, engines, each delivering 11 tons, 107.9 kilonewtons, of dry thrust and 17 tons, 167 kilonewtons, with afterburners. These engines, an upgrade from the AL-41F1 used in earlier Su-57 models, incorporate glass fiber plastic inlet guide vanes and a serrated nozzle design to minimize radar and infrared signatures. The AL-51F1 offers a 15% improvement in fuel efficiency and a 20% increase in thrust-to-weight ratio over its predecessor, enabling a maximum speed of Mach 2.0, 1,500 miles per hour, and a range of 3,500 kilometers at subsonic speeds. The aircraft's avionics suite is equally impressive, integrating AI-driven systems that streamline operations. Test pilot Sergei Bogdan emphasized that the Su-57M onboard systems can be initialized with a single button press, reducing pre-flight checks from minutes to seconds and enhancing mission readiness. The AI assists with navigation, target acquisition, and system diagnostics, reducing pilot workload and allowing focus on tactical decision-making. The core of the avionics is the SH-121 Multifunctional Integrated Radio Electronic System, featuring an N036 Bialka Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar mounted on the nose, supplemented by two side-facing AESA radars on the aircraft's cheeks. This configuration provides 360-degree situational awareness, with a detection range of up to 400 kilometers for air targets and the ability to track 60 targets simultaneously while engaging eight. The radar's low probability of intercept mode enhances stealth by minimizing detectable emissions. The Su-57M armament is housed in two tandem internal weapon bays, each 4.4 meters long and 0.9 meters wide, and two smaller side bays near the wing roots. This internal storage maintains the aircraft's low observable profile, accommodating up to 4K-77M air-to-air missiles per main bay, designed for beyond visual range engagements with a range of 200 kilometers. The Su-57M also features an infrared search and track IRST, system, the 101 Kilo Siemens Atoll, which provides passive target detection at ranges up to 100 kilometers, 
further enhancing its ability to engage stealthy adversaries without relying on radar emissions. The combination of EW and IRST systems positions the Su-57M as a versatile platform capable of adapting to diverse threat scenarios. The Su-57M unveiling has also sparked interest in export markets. Russia has secured initial contracts, as announced by Rosobor One Export CEO Alexander McKeeve in November 2024, though the buyers remain undisclosed. Yet, questions linger about Russia's ability to overcome production bottlenecks and sustain technological advancements under sanctions. As the Su-57M prepares for mass production, its success will hinge on whether Russia can deliver on its promises, both to its own forces and to potential international partners, in an increasingly competitive global landscape.